Welcome to the Impact Evolution Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Andy James. I've put this podcast out here to provide support, guidance, and insight through real life experience that I've learned so that you can impact your life through my lessons. This is raw guidance that will help you evolve your body, brain, business, or career. My purpose is to help you build, grow, and evolve into the best version of yourself to live a healthy, wealthy, fulfilled life. Welcome to this episode. Enjoy. You'd rather believe in the excuse than your ability to dot, 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 fill in the blank. I say this because so many people get this so, so wrong. And the reason as to why is because they don't truly understand what they can physically do themselves that allows them to be successful in what they turn their hand to. They might have been the type of person that's felt a lot of hardship through life. They felt a lot of frustration and complications. All of these things that somebody has felt has determined how they're going to think about what they can achieve moving forwards. So if they naturally think that they're not able to, they've had some hardship through life that kind of determined for them that they're not going to succeed. Whatever they turn their hand to becomes a problem. It becomes frustration. It becomes overbearing. It becomes unmanageable. You've now predetermined that your ability to be able to succeed is determined by your belief in the excuse. And you start looking for those excuses in everything that you do throughout your life. So the thing that I would like to make you aware of right now is that your ability is set by you. There is nothing out there that's defining whether you're capable of achieving or not achieving. It's down to you and the limiting belief you set on yourself whether you choose to achieve this. So think about this moving forwards. If you're in a position right now where you've been thinking that, okay, I'm quite successful with my career, or I've at some point you would have done something in your life that you've achieved, whether that be business, whether that be you won a tournament, whether that be you created some kind of win in life. You have what it takes right now to be successful in whatever you turn your hand to, but your ability to believe in what it takes is the thing that feels unfamiliar because you're not comfortable with what it feels like to feel uncomfortable. And that that is the problem. That is where it all boils back to, is that you can wake up one day, you can wake up next Monday morning and decide this Monday is going to be the last Monday that I choose to suffer in pain, to see myself a certain way, to struggle in the presence of other people. This is going to be the last day I choose to be whatever version of myself that I've been living in for a very long time that I do not like anymore. You get to that Monday and you set the alarm clock. You get up 10 minutes later than what you anticipated. You're running five minutes late on the day. Within that 15 minutes, you've now determined moving forwards that this is just too much. This is too complicated. And you now doubt your ability to be able to create change to create something successful for yourself, whether that be on day one or day 100, you're doubting your ability to be able to move forwards. So you begin to accept every single thing that's going on in front of you. Every single thing that's happening to you is because of choices that you are making. The problem is lack of responsibility, lack of accountability and lack of acknowledgement. I went through a very big process of going through all of these phases and Even though it's a reoccurring thing, I'm going to be completely and totally transparent with you. There are numerous times where you get to a certain phase where you become very much faced with the things that have been challenging you for a while. And in that moment, you have a choice to be able to choose to push forwards and kind of navigate the unknown. Or you have a choice to be able to say, I've achieved so much so far. I'm going to kind of sit here for a little bit and just ride the wave. The problem is, is that anybody knows that if you've ever done anything of progressing moving forward, if you've ever tried to create something for yourself that is, you know, rewarding, there comes a time where sitting and riding that wave, it just doesn't cut it no more. And you're looking for something, you're looking for that next thing that, what is it that I'm able to do? Well, how can I now start doing something that moves me forwards? And you start to, you start to yearn for this next level of progression. And that next level of progression is the thing that everybody starts to look for, but then they start to doubt their ability to be able to get there because they've based what what they need to do right now on what they're thinking, how they're acting, and how they're showing up. And they know, you know right now, 
you know right now that every single one of those actions that you've been taking is keeping you stuck where you are right now. But you're asking for something new. And the problem being is you don't back your ability to be able to say, I can ride out that discomfort. I can get, I can become comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. And the cliches matter because the cliches are, they're there because it's true. The cliches are there because they are true. You have to be able to sit with that uncomfortable feeling for a period of time for it to become familiar that you are now building confidence in yourself to be able to say, I am capable in my abilities to move myself forwards. So the next time I see anybody doubting themselves saying, I am not able to, I want you to remember. I want you to remember right now that you just made the choice to stay where you are because you don't back yourself great enough to say that my abilities are greater than the obstacle that's in front of me. You can overcome anything that you want. The choice is, do you make the choice to overcome the problem? Or do you choose to stay where you are and continue to ask for something and blame it on everything else, everyone else, and every other excuse that's going on around you? Time to take responsibility for you. It's time to acknowledge the fact that you do want something else moving forward, and that's something you are capable of achieving. It's time to get very, very real with what it is that you need to do to go and achieve that. I'm going to also start today, whether it's morning, noon, night, wherever you may be, whatever you're doing right now, with however you're listening to this, make it an awesome day and make that next choice that you're about to make one that's going to benefit you moving forwards. Have a great start to your day. Take care. If you're still here at this point, thank you. I appreciate your support and I hope you got some value from this podcast. If you did, we grow by word of mouth. So sharing this podcast with a friend or to your social media profile would be a huge honor. Thanks again. Hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.